Hey everyone, I wanted to talk today about being on steroids uh, on top of my um, immunosuppressives and kind of the idea of the advice they give uh, for being on steroids is actually pretty good advice for um, everyone in life, strangely. Um, lots of side effects, you know, my skin is kind of awful right now uh, from head to, head to foot and um, a little bit of fluid gain, I don't know if it shows in the video, but there's some fluid gathering at the base of my neck, they're a little concerned about that. And um, I'm not showing any other symptoms, so they don't think it's uh, allergy related, uh, but related to the changing doses on the steroids. So uh, some discomfort from kind of that stuff. I'm not saying all that to complain, but to kind of make a point about just dealing with whatever you have coming up. Um, it's funny that, you know, when they were checking for allergy, they're like, are you eating anything weird? And I'm like, you know, my entire diet changed. You guys have me eating kale and chard and almonds and pumpkin seeds and all kinds of stuff, but I don't think it's allergy. I'm not having trouble breathing or swallowing or any of that. So they're going to check it out when I go back in for my appointment this next week. But, you know, one thing with steroids is that you have to watch diet and exercise. And um, that's good advice for anybody. Um, I'm, I'm doing it for survival reasons, so it's not necessarily the motivation that a lot of people get for exercising. Um, in terms of, uh, in terms of that, you know, I, I'm sort of working to stay even as opposed to trying to make any kind of gains. And I'm not the person that like suddenly, you know, is converted to exercise and is telling everybody they should be doing it and they're bad if they don't and all that kind of stuff. If I see somebody that's working hard at that kind of stuff, I definitely try to encourage them. Um, but people who, you know, are living the way I would prefer to live, you know, <laughs> just eating what I want and, you know, exercising if I feel like it, um, you know, I don't have any ill feelings for that and I'm not trying to convert anyone. Uh, but, you know, the advice is good, you know, when you're doing it because you're on steroids. If you did it, you know, when you were healthy, you'd be able to gain some benefits from it that, you know, are probably a little bit out of my reach in some cases. Um, also with the steroids, having a little bit of like, you know, mood swings and stuff like that. It's funny when they mention mood swings in the doctor's office and you try to react that you're not having them, you kind of make their point. So I, that's what I did. Uh, my wife has been very kind and patient with me on those kind of things. And the advice they give when you are dealing with that is to understand that like this flash of emotion, you know, whether it's anger or in most cases, you know, just an emotional reaction, not necessarily directly related to anger, more anxiety sometimes, is to understand that that's just induced, it's temporary, and uh, you can wait it out. Um, that's not bad advice for life anyway. You know, you get flashes of emotion, you get outbursts, you're stressed. If you can make yourself take the time and just let it ease, um, you will probably be happier, your reactions will be happier, and definitely your loved ones will. The big problem with uh, our reaction sometimes is that we take it out on the people we love the most. They're the closest to us, they're the safest. You know, you have an outburst at work more than once at coworkers or other people, you risk losing your job. You know, if you have um, outbursts in public, you know, some people do, most of us try not to. Um, you know, you can get into other kinds of trouble and get into confrontations that you're not ready to deal with. Uh, but in addition, um, if, uh, if you get home and then you're having an emotional moment, you're more likely to let it go because that's safe. You know, those people aren't going to necessarily walk out. You're not going to get fired from your house and those kind of things. It's safer to unload in those places. And it's very painful when you do, you know, you lash out at children or families, um, doing the Matters of Faith podcast, I had opened up to questions and didn't really expect to get very many, but they kind of poured in. And one of the more recent ones that's been coming in that we'll probably address in a future show is that um, this idea of wanting to be a better person, wanting to control yourself, but always lashing out at family. And uh, it's a pretty common uh, idea that, that a lot of people are bringing up. It's, it's hard to be the, the person that you want to be sometimes. And um, you know, that, that never gets easy. Uh, sometimes it's a situation where, you know, taking the advice of, of how you would be if you were on steroids is, is the best tact. And, um, you know, just taking the time to cool off, to understand that the feelings are temporary and that, you know, the people you love and, and are dealing with are, are more of a fixture in your life that you're going to keep much longer than the emotions are going to be there. Uh, you don't have to be perfect. You don't have to um, get it right every time. But sometimes it's it's good to be deliberate when we can. In my case, 
you know, mine's medically induced, but you know, I'm still a human being and I still react to things, uh, even if I weren't on the medications. And so, uh, when I'm able, I, I try to be very deliberate with the kids now, instead of, you know, just snapping out. Sometimes I try to be calm in the way that I respond, you know, and, and redirect them and that kind of thing. The more times I do that, the better it is for them. Um, and with my wife in particular, uh, if I'm, if I'm feeling something boiling up, I just kind of tell her that I'm, that's what's going on, anxiety or otherwise. And if there's a discussion we need to have, we kind of wait a, a couple minutes and then we have it. Um, I also doing my best to listen, but not respond in cases, you know, I don't always have to say something. So if she has something to say or something to get across to me, I can, I can listen silently and I don't have to give my opinion at that exact moment. You know, I can wait and, and deal with it then. So, uh, the, all the, all those things are dealing with, you know, the mood swings on steroids, but the, it's not terrible advice for just dealing with people in life and especially the people you love, the more you can temper your responses to, to folks like that, the better those relationships will be. Uh, again, it's not perfect, but it's a, it's a little bit of a cheat. You know, I talked about in the previous video that, you know, with, with me having portion control issues and stuff with diet and all that kind of stuff, um, one of my cheats was to just switch to all water and, uh, it kind of gave me a little bit of an edge so that when, when I'm messing up on other areas, it just kind of, um, lets me have a little bit of an advantage in trying to keep the weight off and the emotional side, you know, if, if you can temper your responses a couple times, you know, in, in a few instances in, in your hottest moments and you can get past those without blowing up, those couple times that you were able to accomplish that gives you a little bit of an edge. It's a little bit of a cheat. It makes it easier to kind of repeat that pattern in the future. And it, um, when you do mess up, you know, it's not that you've messed up every time. You know, you, you know how to control it once or twice, so you can control it maybe a third or fourth time. And um, in time, you know, if you're open and communicate with the people around you, uh, they, they will understand and appreciate it. So, um, again, maybe maybe it's good to live our lives like we're um, like we're all on steroids. But the if you're watching this on YouTube, the description in the video goes to the link in the description of the video goes to a podcast that my wife and I recorded shortly after um, we found out I was in kidney rejection. We kind of talk about some of these issues of adjustment and that kind of thing. So. Um, if you're done with this video, you can check that out and uh, kind of see what, what we discussed in those early stages of kind of figuring out what the new normal was. So thank you for listening, and I'll talk to you again tomorrow.